What's up, Magnus Sites? Yeah, so WWE put out a top 20 most impressive physiques of all time in the WWE, right? It was a bunch of bullshit. It was dudes that should have been on there and dudes that shouldn't have been on there. So I'm going to give you my list, okay? And my list is top 22. These are the best physiques that I've seen so far in the business, okay? Roided up or not roided up. This is what I think are the top 22. And matter of fact, they're not in no particular order. It would take me forever to really figure out who I believe is the total best because a lot of these guys are so close. Their physiques, some of them are different, you know what I mean? Some of them you can just see the conditioning. There's gonna be different shapes and sizes of dudes in my list. So uh, this video is gonna take a long time. So without further ado, let's start out right now. Uh, Grab my list because I can't remember them all. All right, so first we're gonna have Mr. McMahon himself. All right, he, he killed it the other night, so let's start off with him, Mr. McMahon. You're fired. <laughs> this dude is, first of all, in better shape. Um, maybe not now, but if you think about when he was fighting Stone Cold. And especially, you look at the match when he went against Hogan after all those years, okay? He was in better shape than both of them. He was more chiseled and more cut than both of them. As a matter of fact, Vince looked better than 80% of his fucking employees during the Attitude Era. You got what I'm saying? When he really started getting big. So, I gotta give it to Vince. You got what I'm saying? Next, we got uh, the Masterpiece. Okay, remember him? He's come out posing with the spotlight on him. Not talking about when Batista went bad. I'm not talking about Batista. I'm talking about the masterpiece. You know what I mean? He always come out making his chest move to the music and shit like that. You know what I mean? He he seemed to get a push in the beginning and didn't really didn't really pan out, but he had a great physique. Although his chest looked kind of funny, he still had a great physique. I don't care. He actually kind of reminded me of mine. I could see some of the way his looked. And I was like, you know what? If I start sticking needles in my butt, I probably would look like him after I was all roided out. But anyway, uh, we got him, and we got Ken Shamrock, okay? Ken Shamrock was the shit. We already knew he was he was a hell of a fucking fighter. And then when he came, first of all, my first taste of seeing Ken Shamrock was in the WWF because I wasn't watching the Ultimate Fighting that much. So when I saw him, I was like, yo, this dude is fucking jacked. He came out with the tights and the knee pads and the leg, you know, the, the shin covers and all that shit. I was like, this motherfucker looks like he a fucking superhero, man. The shoulders, the back, the chest. He was killing it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely Ken Shamrock. Superstar Billy Graham. I ain't going to even have to say much about this. All you older fans know who the fuck he is. He's a fucking man. Hulk Hogan's character was actually patterned after him. Great physique. Hats off to him. I ain't got shit else to say about that. John Cena. Yeah, John Cena's on the list. John Cena, although I hate the character, the man is cool. Um, his arms are bigger than my fucking legs. If you just look at his arms now, it's like they just, they're just one big fucking trunk. If you just, I mean, I don't know how the fuck he put them. Well, I know how he put on that muscle, but anyway, so... John Cena's a fucking Hulk, and he's one of the strongest dudes that apparently has been in the WWE. So, um, hats off to him still. John Morrison. John Morrison, now, he's more the guy with the, uh, you know, if he was a model, he'd be, you know, more of the swimmer type build. He's really lean, but he's hard, and he's dense, and he's cut. He's, in fact, one of the guys that got me starting to think about trying to do parkour training because he does parkour training, and I saw a DVD of his, and he was killing it. John Morrison is in incredible shape. As a matter of fact, if I had to pick a body to have, he'd be on my top three list, okay? Then we got the Texas Tornado. Yeah, yeah, he's one of the Von Erichs. I think he's Terry Von Erich, I think. I can't remember uh, or not, but this dude, matter of fact, when he first came out, he was in such good shape. A lot of people thought he was like related to the Ultimate Warrior, or they thought the Ultimate Warrior was a Von Erich. Not so much like their body types were real similar, man. The Texas Tornado used to fucking kill it. He was in great shape. Just if you don't remember him, just think of the Ultimate Warrior, but slightly maybe softer. Maybe, maybe. Okay, because uh, my memory's a little faint of him, but I remember him being having a great physique. Next, uh, Rocky Johnson, The Rock's dad. Yeah, 
He used to kill it. Yo, it's him, him, yo, <laughs> built like a rock. You got what I'm saying? And next up, Tony Atlas. Yeah, both of them. You can't mention one without mentioning the other. But I think the WWE's list, like, mentioned Rocky Johnson, but didn't mention Tony Atlas. Like, what? I think Tony was bigger than Rocky. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yo, those two, incredible physiques. You got what I'm saying? David Otunga. Yeah, I know he's a coffee drinking puss on the fucking show right now. But Otunga's got a great build. Great build. You know what I'm saying? You see the fucking biceps on him? The chest? You know what I'm saying? If I had a chest like that, which I, I don't, but sometimes people tell me, like, yo, your chest is big as hell. Like, I'll be afraid that shit going to sag later on. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I'll be doing all types of declines just to keep that up. Or, no, inclines, maybe, just to hold, hold it all up. Now, I don't know. We'll figure it out when I get to the age if they start to sag. But, um, yeah, he, he, incredible physique. Hulk Hogan, all right? Now, Hulk Hogan's on in my list, but I'm not talking about, see, the majority of the time, I think Hulk Hogan had his run. He really didn't in particular have a great physique as far as I was concerned. You know when I liked him? In the, like, the early 80s, okay, or the late 70s. Uh, I can't remember when uh, Rocky Rocky Three came out. Was that like early 80s, 83 or something? I can't remember. But Thunder Lips, that's right. The ultimate male. Ha, ha, ha. You know what I mean? Him, yeah. He was in stupendous shape then, and he was a monster. I mean, he was what? Wasn't he close to um, 400 pounds back then? Like, he was a beast, right? Um, then we got Ryback. Yeah, I know he's relatively new, but he's killing it. And I'm, I'm actually almost about to jump on this motherfucking bandwagon, man, because he's... <laughs> Yo, he is impressive. His his build is exceptional. He's a fucking monster. He's picking guys up. Basically, a sideways good morning on his back. Guys like Tensai, even though he dropped him the other night. Ryback is killing it. And, of course, you know I can't mention Ryback without mentioning Goldberg. Those fucking traps Goldberg had? Yo, let me tell y'all how much Goldberg's physique influenced me. How much the character himself influenced me. So much... That I shaved my head and was walking around with a goatee, and I was twitching, and 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 I had a fucking uh, <laughs> I started working my shoulders like every day, worked my shoulders and traps every day, man, until I couldn't, I forgot what I was like. I think I was pressing, I don't know, like what two seventy five at one point. Like I was just, man, Goldberg had me going crazy. That man's physique was incredible. He was a hairy beast for most of his uh, fucking uh, career. But, yeah, man, traps that you'll never forget. Uh, next up, Batista. Come on, man. Shit. Former bodybuilder. He had what it took to get to that level. Just fucking incredible body from the abs to the chest to the fucking legs, everything. Yo, vascular as hell. Batista's Batista's one of my you know he's probably in my top five if I had to make another if I had to make a top five. Ultimate Warrior. I don't have to say much at all. Shit. As far as I'm concerned, out of all of them, um, he's he's a runner for fucking number one. Period. Uh, for the best body. You know what I'm saying? Just incredible. His dedication to his art. As crazy as you might think he was, he 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 was. He's one of the best bodies of all fucking time and i heard he's got a rumored bench press of like over 500 pounds so that says something to his uh credit randy orton another swimmer type build randy orton's the shit he's the fucking shit man especially when he fucking leaned out you know it, what, what was it after evolution i think he kind of lost some of that baby face fat and he kind of really trimmed up i know he got in trouble for a couple of violations so i don't know what he was you know but yeah, he's real lean, but I noticed he's got really, you know, got really cut physique, really great legs. He had that great sweep on the outside of the quad. And it, that's that's like kind of like a, a thing I'm shooting for when I start training legs again. I've been shooting for it. And I noticed, depending on how I train my legs, I noticed it's actually starting to come out. Um, Triple H. Come on, y'all. Y'all already know. You know what I mean? The Helmsley McMahon era. era. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
before evolution. In evolution, he started to get soft. When he came back, especially when he came back from his quad injury, he was a fucking monster. He was scary. Look at that return. Look at when he goes against Hogan. Okay? Remember that? Because in uh, the, the pre WrestleMania previously, he went against The Rock and he, um, you know, he, he threw The Rock all over the place. Triple H threw Hulk Hogan all over the place twice. Hulk had to basically kind of gather up all his strength just to push Triple H. You know what I'm saying? And Triple H was a fucking monster then, and he looked scary. Scott Steiner. <laughs> Big Papa Pump is your hookup. Holler if you hear me. Yo, we all know when he started doing what he was doing. And it was like, yo, shit. What Goldberg had in traps, he had in biceps. I've never seen biceps like that on anybody. I've seen bodybuilders with great biceps. There's something about his arms. He, he was an extra freak. I don't know what it was. He looked really freaky. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think I've ever seen any bodybuilders with, 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 with biceps like that, man. Scott Steiner, incredible physique. Incredible, period. Lex Luger, the toll package. Lex Luger, racking people, all that shit. I think he went through his fucking career walking around at 3 and 4% body fat all the time. He was always shredded every time I fucking saw him. Every time, man. The Luger's no joke. Hats off to Luger. Rick Rude. Come on now. You knew I couldn't make a list without Rick Rude. Shit. Rick Rude, also from what I hear, is one of the rumored tough guys. I heard he once knocked a warrior out in the fucking back. Because the warrior went crazy on him, just knocked him the fuck out. I heard Hulk Hogan ain't want to fight him. I ain't even want to wrestle him. He said he want to deal with him. He said, you know, he ain't have no wish to fight a Tasmanian devil. So, you know, Rick Rue, while he may not have been the number one guy, he's one of the strongest and one of the toughest, toughest motherfuckers out there with one of the best physiques. So hats off to Rick Rue. Uh, we got Paul Orndorff, Mr. Wonderful. Come on. And I don't think he wasn't on he wasn't on uh, the WWE's list either, along with a bunch of these other people that I already listed. He wasn't on there. You got what I'm saying? Paul Orendorf was no fucking joke. Shredded, huge as fucking hell. Come on, y'all. How can you not include Paul Orendorf? What you got some in vendetta against him? Like, come on. Do you think of some of the people that was on there? Fuck out of here, y'all. I'm saying. And last on my list, who should have been included on every single fucking list is um, uh, Mick Foley. Now, Mick Foley's body, now you look at him, <laughs> just kidding, y'all. Mick Foley ain't on there. When I do a crazy motherfucker list, he'll be on that list, all right? And my last one, just because I wrote him down first, you know, he's one of my favorites of all time, The Rock. And uh, he actually wouldn't have been on the list if he was not, um, if he didn't look the way he does now to me. Like, ever since he got really big and chiseled for, you know, the roadblock, the roadblock uh, movie role, you know, playing G.I. Joe, and now he's going to be playing a bodybuilder in this next movie, I see why he's getting the way, how he got as shredded as he did. And that's why when he came back, you know, before Pump hitting with that clothesline, you know, he, he took out the giant and did that. Ah, ah, yeah, because he's, he's, yeah, he's the real fucking thorough now, man. Like... The Rock, you look at him, as a matter of fact, you look at that, what was it, Survivor Series with him and um, John Cena tag team, he started out, he started out the interview with his back towards you, and you could see like the striations in his back, like he's not playing, he's, he's killing it right now, so um, in no particular order, that's my list of the 22 best physiques in wrestling, period, of all time, hey, you got any comments? Post them below. If you disagree, I don't give a fuck. But let me know what you think. Talk to y'all later.